Hello fellow junk lovers, stuff collectors, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie and I love stuff. And one of the kinds of stuff that I love is Squishmallows. And let's face it, any other plush or collectible toys that I can find, let's face it, I love everything, all stuff. So I decided to go into CVS and Walgreens and decide who had the best Squishmallows, who had the best toys. So first I went to CVS and I did find this bell mixed in with the Claire's accessories that they have for kids. So that was one Squishmallow. And then I went to the holiday aisle and they did have some really cool Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. I like the pumpkin. They had that big Oogie Boogie. I do have one of those in my personal collection. They had the Crab Pirate, which I've already bought. They had a couple of Squishaboos from Ty. And then, of course, they had the Nightmare Before Christmas Squishmallows and a lot of off-brand plush, but some cute stuff. They had that little creepy Beanie Baby clip guy that I still just don't quite understand why he exists. I feel like that guy's so weird. Uh, I did love this, this little miniature statue kit. I was really tempted to buy it. I did put it back, but I kind of regret it. Uh, I might have to go back and buy it. I, I'm not sure. We'll see. I did think this coffee mug was absolutely fantastic. It's got lock, shock, and barrel on it. A really cool color combination, but I have so many coffee mugs. I actually have to change my coffee mugs out when it comes to the holidays. Um, and as you see, I did find two little Halloween Squishmallow clips. I was pretty excited to find something because there was not a lot of squish to be found. The CVSs that I go to around me in Tennessee and Alabama, they just don't ever have a lot of toys. And it's weird because I see people online going to CVS to do Squishmallow hunting and they find really cute stuff, but that's just not how it is here. Here, there's barely anything to be found. So this is the footage that I got at Walgreens. I did stumble across this Lockwood, the penguin. I think he's so cool. I might have to get him to add to my collection. I did see a Christmas seal up there on the top shelf. That's pretty tempting. I do love everything Christmas the most. I did decide to go over to the toy aisle and see if they had any good Funko Pops. Walgreens does tend to get a lot of Walgreens exclusive Funkos, so sometimes you can find some really cool stuff over there. I did look through the rest of the toy aisle to see if I found anything cool, and they did have some Squishville sets. They had this one with the little dragon. And then they had one with a Yeti. I was really tempted to get the one with a Yeti. The Bigfoots are my favorite Squishmallows. And the Yetis are the cousins of the Bigfoots. So I really like collecting the Yetis as well. But I told myself I didn't need that. I don't know. Maybe if I stumble across it a second time in a store, I'll probably have to buy it. Sometimes it's easy to say no once. But if you see something twice, you become convinced. Uh, they did have a lot of Qtopia plush from Mattel, the new little guys. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my weaknesses. They do always have a lot of cool gamer plush like Sonic the Hedgehog, Mario. They have the Goombas. They usually have really cute branded plush in Walgreens. Um, there's that big turquoise platypus squish I'm still so tempted to buy. <laughs> Um, I want all the Pokemon Squishmallows, but I'm trying to not buy them all. Squishmallows are wonderful, but they take up so much space and you have to have somewhere to put them. So I do have the Pikachu, but I haven't bought the others yet. Uh, I did see this Vampire Jack. He's pretty cool, but I don't know. I feel like his smile's a little creepy on that Funko Pop. It looks a little weird to me. And then, of course, I had to look at the Beanie Babies. I love Beanie Babies. It's definitely one of my weaknesses. And as I'm going through them, at the end, I find a Squishmallow mixed in. I don't know if someone had this hidden for themselves or if it just accidentally got put over there. 
but that was definitely a fun surprise because there was no Halloween squish on the shelves. But finding one mixed in with the Beanie Babies definitely felt like a win. So that's all the cool stuff I found in the two stores that I went in. Now, let me show you the haul of all the things that had to come home with me. Okay, guys. So when it comes to pharmacy type stores where you can buy cool toys and holiday items, I'm definitely going to say Walgreens is the winner for me. Uh, where I shop, there's very few CVSs that have anything in them worth finding. I was really happy to find this Wade keychain. I do think he's super cute. Wade is one of my favorite Halloween Squishmallows simply because he's a werewolf. And when I think werewolf, I think dogs. And let's face it, I love dogs. But Walgreens has so much more cool stuff. I did get this super awesome Darth Vader plush. And this super cool C3PO plush, they were both 90% off. So they only cost me like, I want to say they were like $1.30 a piece. So that was a super good deal. Um, I'll probably put these in my Star Wars Christmas tree at Christmas time because they're small and they'll be cute. But I'll also just store them with my Star Wars plush for the rest of the year. So definitely happy to find those. And, of course, I had to get, I was going to not get any of these Qtopias from Mattel. I do feel like they're just Squishmallow copycats, but Groot is my favorite character, and I have a hard time saying no to any Groot that I find. And I did think this guy was super cute. He is super squishy. And then... When I saw that they also had Rocket, I was really sold on getting the pair. I think they look really cute together. I like the way Rocket has like the smirk and the way they made the fur around his eyes out of felt, I think is super cool. It's a nice detail and they did print his tail on the bag. Super nice, squishy guys. I do like these. I might not get any other Qtopias, but I had to have these simply because my love of the Guardians of the Galaxy, especially my love of Groot. And then I can't believe I looked out and found another Halloween Squishmallow that I didn't have and obviously needed. I want to say that's Lucasta, maybe? I'm not sure how to say that. Lucasta? Lucasta? I don't know. Either way, super cute. Um, Lucasta freaked out last year at the Halloween fair and went home early, but not this year. She promised herself she would be a brave bat all night, even on the super scary haunted house ride. She brought her pal Ramably so they can laugh out loud during all the creepy sound effects. So I guess I need to figure out who Ramably is because that's her friend. But how pretty is she? She's got a furry belly. She's like this dark, not really turquoise, but like greenish bluish. I don't know. Super pretty coloring. Shiny wings, shiny ears, long eyelashes. Just a super cute little bat. I love this little squish. I can't believe I looked out and found her mixed in with the Beanie Babies. Um, yeah, so I, I call this a super successful haul, guys. I did not think there would be anything Halloween left to find out there. But I not only got Halloween, I also got some Guardians and some Star Wars plush. So I'm super happy with this haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And until next time, bye.